So you want to get sodium in Minecraft, and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to get it downloaded, installed, and fully working. Now, as you can see here, 25 FPS to 300 plus FPS, that's actually very, very possible with sodium. It is one of the best graphics mods, but not really graphics mods, performance boosting mods in Minecraft, even though it can add and increase graphics some as well. So let's go ahead and dive on into it. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth text guide to getting sodium, and on this page, go ahead and click on the download sodium link here to be taken to sodium's official download page on Modrinth. Once you're here, what you want to do is go ahead and click on versions up here at the top. Then you want to find the Fabric 1.20.2 version here of Sodium. This may say Fabric Quilt, that's perfectly fine as well, and then click on it. Finally, to download Sodium, just click on this green download button here and the download will begin. While that's downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods, mod packs, plugins, and customize the server however you like. And if you do have any issues, there's expert live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out. So if you want to start a Minecraft server, look no further than Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your server the simple way. Nevertheless, Sodium is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. It's 100% safe to do that. Now, Sodium is a fabric mod, which means we need to get fabric as well. And luckily, in the description down below, there's a link to here, which is our in-depth text guide on getting fabric. We're going to go over everything in this video as well, but if you prefer a text guide, we've got one for you. Go ahead and click on the yellow download fabric button to go to fabric's official download page. On this page, you want to click on the Download Universal Jar link. It's kind of small and under the Download for Windows link, but the reason we're clicking this is because if you get Fabric using this Universal Jar, it means other mods and things like that will be easier to install in the future. So click on that Download Universal Jar link there, and Fabric will begin downloading, and you may also need to keep or save that, and it's 100% safe to do so. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and let's move both the files we downloaded, Sodium and Fabric, to our desktop. Once these are on your desktop, we actually want to get started off here with Fabric, the Fabric Installer. To do that, right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, what you want to do is go to the description down below and get Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Fabric and, of course, Sodium. So you want to make sure you've got Java 17 installed, and this is an in-depth guide on getting it for you. Now you may also need to run the jar fix and what this is going to do is take all the jar files in your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. So get Java first, then run the jar fix, then you'll be able to open Fabric. So let's do it. Right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That then opens up the Fabric installer where we want to make sure that 1.20.2 is selected, make sure Create Profile is checked and then click install. And now it's going to install Fabric. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.2 before without any mods or anything, meaning just go play vanilla Minecraft 1.20.2, open to the main menu, close out of it, and this will work. You also want to make sure the Minecraft launcher and Minecraft are closed when you're installing Fabric, otherwise you may have issues. But at this point, go ahead and click OK, close out of the Fabric installer, and delete it. Let's get Sodium installed. To do that, you want to open the Minecraft launcher, and before you click play or anything like that, we need to install Sodium first. We actually don't open Minecraft to install Sodium, we do it from the launcher, which is kind of cool. So here we are on the launcher, we have the fabric installation already selected there, but that's okay even if you don't. What you want to do is go to the installations tab, and then on the installations tab, you should have fabric loader here. If you don't, make sure modded's checked in the top right. As you can see, if we deselect modded, it's gone. We check modded, hey, there it is. Now if you still don't have fabric here, or it's not the one 20.2 version of Fabric, click New Installation. You can name the server you want. Of course, I'm naming it Simple Game Hosting because that's the easiest way to start a Minecraft server with Fabric mods for you and your friends. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click the version drop down box here and we want to select Fabric Loader 1.20.2. Right here it is for me. You may need to scroll to find yours, but mine's right here at the top. And then I'm going to change the resolution so you can see better once we're testing Sodium in game. Then go ahead and click Create. And now we have this new SimpleGameHosting.com profile with Fabric Loader under it. But 
still don't click play. Let's install sodium. To do that, you want to hover over your fabric installation, either the one you created or the one that's there already. I'm going to go ahead and hover over this and click the folder icon that appears. So hover over fabric, click the folder icon that appears, and then your .minecraft folder will open. In your .minecraft folder, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have one. Well, guess what? I don't either, so no worries. Just go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and title the folder mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Mods, right like so. Open your mods folder and drag and drop sodium from your desktop into your mods folder. Boom, sodium is now installed. To play it, come back to Minecraft and make sure you're clicking play on that fabric installation. When you do, click play again, just confirming you're playing with mods and Minecraft will now open with sodium installed and it's time to boost your FPS. So here we are in game. There's no really indication that sodium is installed from the desktop, but if you go into options and then you go into video settings, there is no denying that sodium is here. You can see some of the stuff you can change with it. Obviously render distance, simulation distance, and one of the cool things is if you hover over it, it tells you the performance impact. For example, simulation distance, huge performance impact. But if we click on the view bobbing, it literally doesn't mention it because it doesn't change performance at all. So there you have it. That's kind of the different settings that are here. There's tons of them that you can change. You've got fancy, fabulous, all of this stuff that you can change for your graphics settings, MIP map levels, entity shadows, all of that is here. And this right here is where you can get a bunch of performance out of sodium. So I'd recommend changing these and enabling them all if you haven't already. But nevertheless, that is how you can download and get the sodium mod in Minecraft 1.20.2. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We'll try our best to help you out. Enjoy the mod. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.